Hey everybody, it's BC here. Welcome to another episode of Automation Empire. And uh, you gotta admit, you gotta love watching these things go around. Little animations, the claws picking up the crates and everything moving around. Uh, one thing I have noticed is uh, we're definitely getting quite quite a bit of a backlog here. And it was uh, suggested by somebody that I should really have more refiners coming off these uh, craters. Or these crate makers. Uh, I do realize that, but it's only going through the complainer so fast. Anyways, as you can see, we're getting backlog. And that's got to go through another crater, which has to go through that but uh one thing i didn't realize is yes we're over eight thousand kilos now but we can actually get the trains now i just have to research uh, research the steel plates uh which we're going to get into we got to get more research going but uh, i'm going to pause this for now because uh, what i'm going to do as you can see i close to about a million dollars right now i also rebuilt all the research uh machines why is that empty no, it's not empty. Uh, yeah, I got the research, uh, research bays back in place, all the tanks back in place. Same in here, this is all going. And as you can see, we have quite a bit of research. I'm actually going to clean this now, just uh, so they can actually start filling up again. So 250, we're not doing too bad. I might actually let that go then, let that build up. Uh, we're going to get another one, one or two set up down here because we're going to start getting some steel going eventually. How are these guys doing? Eh, they're okay. Uh, if it comes down to it, that's 80 grand spoil, uh, 80 grand income if I really need it. Uh, yeah, so let's go in here and uh, maybe just for the f sake of this, I'm going to pause this for now. Because I'm going to be taking a lot of stuff out. So I have been thinking about reworking this and I'm actually going to take this entire setup here and I'm going to leave it the way it is, but I'm going to double it. I'm gonna, we would have one one line here and another line here. I am actually going to redo do it slightly. I'm going to leave uh, the unload unload stations here, but the transfer pipe is going to come out. I'm actually going to be placing another tank here and having them all connected in a line. And then, yeah, tank there. And then I think I was going to have to put another tank at the front. Because what I'm going to do is, when it comes off the crater, instead of going along the conveyor line all the way out here, it's going to get pumped into a tank, which fills up a minecart, which is going to take it to unload into here, and then this probably go outside to the other end to get to the other coal tank on the other iron, other steel line, combiner line, whatever we're going to call this thing. And then for the iron, then it's just a matter of having the cart going around the back, and it, the track can actually go underneath this one, so that I can fill up the iron from the back side, and that way I can get another set of claws in, and another road, and maybe a whole bunch more truck stops, and see if we can actually push. Uh, what I'd like to get into next would be the these remote connect remote connectors, and that's uh, just so I can have it come out of here, go into a tank that gets pumped into a connector, which gets pumped into this tank. You know, just underground piping, basically, which makes things a lot more easier. What else do we have here? Uh, oil derelict, yeah. Uh, gold fuel. That'll be an interesting one. But once we get the freight train going, then uh, things should move smoother. It says uh, cars hold 16 crates, but I don't know how many cars are to a train. We shall find out. But anyways, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip everything out, and I'm going to double it up, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I am back, and this is what I have, and uh, without uh, me having the connectors on the connections on the ends here, it should it actually makes a lot less room. Uh, things are going to work out for the train, uh, getting the mine curves going around. Uh, I'm going to make a couple of slight changes to my original plan, but before we get going on with that, I think we should go over here and start getting steel produced, uh, just for the research. This one's not being used, this one's not being used. There's not much iron coal coming through the system right now, but you know, we can always fire a few drones just to cut the workload a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try to find a way to get a, get a combiner in here. Let's get rid of this, like so. Um, this one can stay here. And then what we got to do is find the right tab here go to a combiner let's see we'll put you here will that actually work 
Yeah, actually it will. Okay, and we'll just take that, that out. I wanted to leave that track in. So we'll do up to there. That's all it needs. And that one can stay there because I gotta put one of these in here. Actually, no, I don't. Yeah, actually, it was almost like I was meant to do this. And then from here, we just do a couple of intakes, like so. We have an output on the front. We hook up our trusty minecart to there. Yeah, that should work. And then we just gotta put some more minecarts back. We just add one there. Add one on there. And that one still has one. So that should be good. So that can go and that'll start making us hopefully steel. Uh, I'm kind of wondering about the power though, because it still says 117 and I just added a whole bunch of machines. Maybe uh, entire buildings only use a certain amount of power. I don't know, but we're going to let this go. I actually have to get a hundred of this going. So, uh, hmm. You know what, for the time being, uh, let's actually turn the iron and the coal off. And drones can only work with the, the coal. But better yet, let's have it on uh, low priority. So then that way the, the claws will get priority over it, hopefully. No steel going to it yet. We got some iron, we have some coal. And there's our first iron. And... I think there needs to be a little bit more coal in there for that to actually work. You know what, let's just turn priority right off. Let them deal with the gold. Uh, I don't want to worry about the steel. In the meantime, while that is doing that, let's go over here and start getting everything hooked up over here. So what I want to do is I actually want to get all this stuff going into big tanks, which gets moved by minecarts. And I've been thinking about how I'm going to do this, and I might... I was thinking about splitting the conveyors up. And going that way. You know what, give me a second, let me think about this. Okay, so this is what I decided to do. Uh, I got this conveyor to go back this way, I got the turn this way. And then when it goes under here, it gets sucked into here, it goes over one more square, hits the unload station, and the empty crate gets, gets destroyed. Uh, I have had issues where they didn't get sucked in, so I am actually going to turn this to destroy all crates. Just in case it doesn't go through, just so it doesn't create a jam up. So that is that side, uh, let me take care of the other side, I'll be right back. Okay, so I had to make a slight change in plans just because the, the track wasn't fitting the way I wanted, so I did it this way, I had to... Also try to keep it as low as pop, low to the ground as much as possible because I will have claw tracks going through here and uh, when it's elevated like that you can't actually build on the same build energy claw tracks except for when it's down low like except that. So that's what I have set up right now. I, I do realize it's going to take some time for it to start filling up the system. Uh, but what I've done is I've changed the tank over to a single tank here and then what I've got is this one coming down this way and then turns this way on the conveyor this crate uh, claw transfer thingy bobber just transfers it over see when this side comes over then when it comes down this side it gets transferred over here so that it just files into here that'll hold 40 we get uh, as many mine cards as we can on here let's see what we can actually get on here let's bring that back up and go with eight why not so then yeah i'm gonna have to redo this side too uh this one's gonna be a little bit easier because it's gonna be going in in behind here and then i'll probably have it loop around back and then probably go back through this way so i'll probably do the same setup and i'll bring you back when we're ready to get going again uh, by the way i did pause it because uh these trucks aren't running which means i'm losing money or not making money Let's put it that way, and the hydro bill is still going to get have to be paid. So, anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, and there's the iron side. So this track goes along here. Uh, well, same thing goes to this tank here. This tank pumps into the minecarts. 
they go around here they go under this track they fill in this one they fill in this one it goes sort of does like a little bit of a zigzag so, so we can actually make it out the door then it comes along here back over and through so it's about the same length as the coal so it has the same amount of cart uh, mine carts on it so it should be fairly uniform we can always add more if we need to uh, so the next thing to do is to get the get the claw trucks up and running again so what I'm going to do is because I've doubled this up I'm going to keep this set up the way I have here where I have one claw track dealing with two trucks so this basic basic setup but what we're going to do is we're going to add another road we're going to go into, that was, yeah, that's the entrance. So we can go over here. Helps if I actually turn it around the right way. And let's see how far I can get. Okay, so that's, that's about it there, which is fine. That's fine. I'll go up here, make sure I got the road going the right way. And we'll sure we'll turn it and again and then we'll bring it all the way down here hmm. yeah we'll do that and then we'll just put our exit right here if we can if it'll let me it's gonna have to be there I'm sure the I'm sure the hydro poles have something to do with it, but that's fine. As long as we get the road in, that's all that matters. How's that? Oh, it's one of those. I didn't even know we had one of those. That's fine, because we could just do that. Alright, then same thing. Four more truck stops, or pit stops. One, two, not three, there. But yeah, I'll just fit two. And three, four. Okay. Now that's going to be a problem with the claw track. So that means I have to actually move that, which. Isn't a problem. Like realistically, we can go down low with that, or. We could probably go even higher. You know, let's try that. Because I know we can go really high with the minecarts. I, I don't know if this is considered the highway track or if you got to go to the stage three for that. But uh, let me do this and I'll be right back. No, oh, it actually says there, move faster while traveling on highways, height level two or three. Anyway. Okay, there we go. So I got that up to the highest level. Uh, I did a test too. The claw track can go underneath, so we can go ahead and do that. So now what I gotta do is I gotta get the claw tracks all set back up. I gotta get them back over here loading, and back over here unloading, and get the second line put in, and I shall return. Well, well, there she is. Everything's all connected, so I got uh, these two on the back two, these two on the front two, these two on the back two, those two on the front two. Now hopefully, hopefully everything uh, works out okay. Like I said, it will take time for everything to start filling out. So let us watch it go. Can I reverse direction of these things? Aha, I can. Oh, let's uh, do that. That's actually handy. Not that it matters. But either way, it is doing its thing. That's filling up, that's filling up, this is filling up. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna let this go for a little bit. Uh, we're also gonna get some more of this steel researched and continue on. So uh, yeah, I shall see you in a bit. All right, well, things are moving along here somewhat. It's not quite getting as good as I had hoped, but look at this. We're going to hit the 9,000, which is going to make things a lot easier because I, that means I get to get, get the connectors. And there we have it, 9,000. Actually, we'll let that keep going. Uh, research is doing pretty good. We actually have three of these that need to be taken care of. Like so, we have 
51 steel. I was halfway to the train. Got a whole bunch more gold. That gives us a ton of research. So, I was thinking about uh, looking at these, the remote connector. But that's 500,000 research that's going to cost. And we still need 800,000 for the train. Uh, we're doing the steel right now, so it's not that big of a deal. But something like this would definitely make logistical stuff like this more feasible. So, I think... I think we're gonna do that. So I actually want to see how these things work. Uh, so I'm wondering about this. Then, does this mean like, like how does this actually work? Is that how it works? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, I like that. So now the question is... Sorry, I'm uh, trying to figure out what I'm doing here. But yeah, now the question is, can I have more than one connector on it? So what I will do is I will do that. And then we'll go over to, let's go for a blue on this one here. This will be the iron. Why did I have to set the other one? Oh. That's why. Aha. So in theory, I'm going to actually stop the mine cards for now. So in theory, this should fill up. That's a bit of a shame. Yeah. So I'd have to uncheck that and check it on this one. I think. Let me figure this out. I figured it out. Get easy transfer tube. So you set this as the actual. So what it is is you set the container as the actual color. So that means that anything connected to the blue connector will come out of this container, basically. Uh, it took me a minute to figure it out, but yeah. And then so I use this to actually pump into or pull out of the container. So we'll do this and watch it magically fill up. Or at least it should. Or it would if it wasn't empty. But yeah, that's basically what's going on. And then do the same thing here. That's set to yellow. Actually. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So we get rid of that one, and where did I put the other one here? Get rid of that one. And we 
to get our tubes going into the tank like so let me switch that around like that like so and there you go the coal actually goes right in there so that should actually save a lot of time and i don't have to worry about the minecart going around and it should actually fill everything evenly so let's see what we got here nothing's going on that's going on the combiners are filling up which is good and uh yeah everything seems to be going okay i was having trouble with keeping this side going but now uh, hopefully i got those mine cards out of the question this should go a lot smoother so i'm gonna let this go for a little longer and i'll bring you back and we'll see where we're at and i'll keep it on this research too make sure that this keeps going because, uh, yeah, we need a whole lot to get trains going. Anyway, I'll be back. I just noticed something. Even though we're doing over 9,000 in a three-month period, I just realized this whole line here has no pickups. So that was even without this line. So that means we're over 10 grand then. Yeah, I don't know how I missed that one. Pick you up, pick you up, and let's make some more money. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, I think we're just about there. Let's see if we can get one more truck through before the end of the month. Come on, we can do it. Show me 11,000. There we go. 11,000, so that actually unlocks Waterworks. Uh, waterworks is good because it gets us uh, faster mining uh, at the same time, too. With the uh, factories, it'll cut us down on our hydro bill, which is great. But there we go, so we have that, we have a whole bunch of research, I've been keeping an eye on these things, and there's our steel. So all that's left to do is get the last 300,000 that we need to unlock the trains. Yeah, 300,000 research. And then once we get the trains, then we can get rid of the trucks and hopefully move more goods faster and make more money faster. But anyways, I think this might be a good place to call it. Uh, it's been a bit of a struggle. We've got so much money. I don't know what to do with it. I wish I could just buy a research and just get it over with. Uh, so I did, however, have to increase production on the iron side. And even then, it's still not enough to keep these uh, combiners going. I think it might have to do with the fact that they all have to have their inventories fill up. But even then, it's like barely going. Uh, as you can see, I doubled it up. I'd like to double these ones up, but not enough room for it. So I may try to get another refiner in here or something. I don't know how uh, these tracks can come out because we don't actually need them anymore because we have the connectors. But anyways, uh, I think this could be a good place to call it. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. But, uh, sound like machine gun fire there for a minute. I think that might have been like the claw track or something. I do not know. That sounded weird though. That's probably what it was. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Enjoy. See you later.